welcome to this devil of a painting. Shoes, honestly, one of the hardest and worst I've ever worked on thus far. I liked her a little in the beginning and I like her now, but for about 80% of the time I was working on her, I absolutely wanted to just give up and throw her away. And I did put her back in the back corner and resigned to never work on her again for multiple times. <laughs> Several times whilst I was working on her, but luckily persevered put her back in the corner and then at the end of the day or like two days later or something take her out and be like hate all of this but you know this one eye is salvageable and then that was the way it was for most of the hours I was working on her I started this painting for an entry into a portrait competition or contest thingamajiggy but I didn't have any particular portraits or faces that I was thinking of painting, so I went searching for random things to paint, random faces to paint, rather. Since Vikings are always awesome, and I'd seen someone at an event wearing a Viking-themed outfit with an awesome mask, I thought, yes, this is the way. This is the way. So at about this point in the painting, not only did I hate everything on the canvas, but the deadline for the contest was actually earlier than I thought, so it was unfinished when I had to submit it. Obviously, it didn't get in. Since it was already such a disappointment that I wasn't able to submit it, finishing it was more of a struggle than with other paintings. So, for this middle part, I was painting for the sake of being done with this piece rather than because I enjoyed any part of it. I did actually set it off to the side a couple of times in this rocky middle section where I was planning on completely giving up on it. Luckily, that decision didn't stick. When I first thought of this painting, I was imagining the mask I had seen that person wearing at the Viking event, but since I didn't have any photo references of it and only a vague memory of what it actually looked like, that wasn't going to happen. Instead, I decided to use a mask I already had. This skull one is one I've had for years now, and based on how it turned out in this painting, I think I'm going to incorporate it into more pieces. The skin is one of the first things I'd really want to improve on for next time. I've been watching a lot of painting videos of people painting portraits and looking at other older artists like John Singer Sargent, and I love the way they painted skin and flesh. Really want to improve on that. If I had to paint this piece again, well, first I'd just die, but then I'd work on mimicking the way the painters I love do skin. This is the biggest thing I'd want to redo, but the hair is second. I like it mostly, but there are some things I'd want to try differently next time. While writing the script, I actually realized there's a lot more that I like about it than I first thought. The mask tie and its shadow. Honestly, don't know what it is, but I love this little bit. The scar. Love it. Absolutely love it. The eyes are great, some of the hair as well, and the mask itself, of course. The eyes at the end of the time lapse are different from the ones that are in the final painting now. I repainted them twice after finishing everything else before I liked how they turned out. The fur, fabulous. The background. Though this is something I'm not sure if I'd repeat. I had wanted a consistent background, so I painted that well ahead of everything else. But if I hadn't, I would have been freer to fix some of the areas of the hair that didn't turn out. So, positives and negatives there. Anyway, that's all for this painting. It turned out decent. Some things great, some things, hmm. But overall, I'm happy I stuck with it and didn't just give up the first or second or third time that I really hated it and wanted to. That's all for now. Like, share, and subscribe if you want. Or, you know, don't. Ciao!